You thought that this would be a good idea. You thought that because everyone was at the party, enjoying the same jokes and having an awesome time, that you could get away with it. So then you thought you'd go for it. You thought this would be a good joke, a great joke even. Everyone is watching. And at first, everyone was enjoying it. Everyone was laughing with you, but then they realized it wasn't a joke. Presets really are a slap in the face. It's this love-hate relationship that we want to work. We want to be able to copy and paste settings and have all our photos look the same or be consistent or match our Instagram grid. But presets are the reason you're not happy with your photos. I'd go so far as to even say that they're the reason your photos aren't as good as they could be. And so your toxic relationship with presets needs to end. Presets are such a massive problem and it's gotten out of control. Hit the like button if you agree. We've probably all seen those TikToks or those YouTube shorts where they say, copy my settings for moody photos or for banger photos or for cinematic preset looks. But the reality is if you've tried them, you know that it's not that simple. Another lie we tell ourselves is that presets help the community. They're good for beginners so that they can learn and take the settings and go off and learn how to edit for themselves. But the problem is if you're a beginner, you don't actually know what to look for. And so it's way more value for you to watch a step-by-step -step tutorial than it is for someone to just hand you a pre-configured set of presets. Editing with presets is kind of like shooting with your camera in auto mode. It takes someone else's settings or the settings that you used on another photo shot on a completely different day with different lighting in a different scenario and you're trying to jam it into another photo that was taken under a completely different set of conditions. All right, so if you're still here, there's a chance either you really agree with me or you really disagree with me. One of the things I'll say is that real photographers don't really use presets, at least not in the way that you're thinking. Presets are a good way to take a common set of settings that you use on all of your photos and have that as a starting point in your edits. What they're not is for taking a wholesale set of settings and applying them to another photo. If you take things like white balance and exposure and bake that into a preset, it's simply not gonna work on any other photo that you apply it to. If you're a beginner photographer who's in it for the creative aspects, I actually recommend not using presets at all. The reason for that is that you will learn a lot faster how to use all the various tools to get the desired outcome that you want. You'll be better positioned in the long run if you can actually go in and understand what the individual tools, what the individual settings like tone curves or hue and saturation adjustments actually do to your photo. Getting a consistent look is way more about understanding how these different settings interact than it is about creating a setting or a preset that you apply to every single photo. So what are presets for? Well, presets are kind of that starting point. If you are someone who does massive sets of photos, like let's say you do real estate photos and you need to pound them out and edit them really fast, then having a preset that makes all of your base adjustments for you, that's where you're gonna wanna introduce your presets. It's those time-saving adjustments that you continue to make on every photo that simply applying as a one-click operation will save you a few minutes per edit. Also, there are a ton of settings that don't necessarily work well in a preset. Things like masking, doing vignettes, radial adjustments. While you can save them inside of a preset, they really need to be unique for every single photo. So what if you're someone who wants to move away from using presets and start editing for yourself? Well, I I recommend checking out this video. This is my start to finish editing guide in Lightroom. I break down all the steps and everything I would do when editing a photo. Or if you're a little bit more advanced, I recommend checking out this video on tone curves. It's a great way to get started once you've passed the basics. That's it for me, peace.